Hi, this is Paul Lapis of GoGrid, a division of ServePath. GoGrid provides infrastructure services in the cloud, allowing customers to rapidly deploy load balanced and hybrid servers without purchasing costly hardware. The Windows Azure Lifecycle Management Service interoperates with the existing GoGrid infrastructure and includes pre configured development environments, enabling developers to build applications, publish them to Windows Azure rapidly provision unlimited test servers for powerful load testing with a cost-effective pay-as-you-go pricing model, and the service works with sync services for Microsoft SQL Azure, enabling customers to keep a real-time backup of their Windows Azure database while using the GoGrid infrastructure as additional backup for disaster recovery. The service will be available in Q1 2010. So here, we'll get started by signing up for GoGrid, using the promo code GG4Azure to receive a free $50 credit. Okay. And we'll log into the my.gogrid.com portal. Here, we can select a dev image, and immediately, a pre-configured Windows Server instance, hosted by GoGrid and accessible via terminal services, is instantiated. The image is pre-configured with fully installed Visual Studio, Expression Suite, the Azure SDK and the emulator, and contains the latest patches. You can create as many as necessary for developers, and the virtual servers can be accessed from anywhere in the world. Optionally, choose to instantiate an image containing Team Foundation Server to maintain the code repository and build processes for your application, or to instantiate a shared SQL Server database. Okay, now we are logged into our GoGrid server, and we can build our application and unit test it in the Azure emulator. So, this is a demo app developed by our partner, Blue Star Infotech. Now, once the app is ready, we are ready to promote the application for integration testing on Azure. We can migrate the databases using the SQL Server migration tool. And once the schema has been migrated, we can enable change tracking on SQL Server on GoGrid as well as SQL Azure using change tracking scripts. Using this tool, we can create SQL change tracking scripts which can then be executed on either of the respected databases. SQL tracking scripts can be executed using OSQL tools or regular SQL commands. Okay, great. Once the database has been enabled for change tracking, we can create a synchronization profile between SQL Server and SQL Azure. This profile can be saved into a field which can be used to configure SQL Server scheduled jobs. Great. Here we're configuring the SQL Server synchronization. And we can choose optionally to execute the synchronization right now to do a migration of data from the GoGrid SQL database to SQL Azure. Great. Now, once data is migrated, we can publish app, the application from Visual Studio to Windows Azure. Since we want to test our application, we'll deploy the application into the Azure staging environment instead of production. uploading our files, and very soon we'll be in the Azure staging environment. Great, there it is. And we see our application now running in Azure.
Now that the application and databases have been deployed on Azure, we can configure SQL Server Sync job to sync the databases between SQL Azure and SQL on GoGrid to keep a real-time backup of the data off-site. And we can see that our synchronization is successful. All right, now our application and data are in the cloud. We have syncing set up between SQL and GoGrid, and the Azure application is ready for integration testing. We go back to our GoGrid library and launch test images. These images are pre-configured for testers with tools and test clients. Using the GoGrid REST API and command line tools, we can launch as many instances as we want to generate the required load. Using GoGrid, we can save time and money since we can delete the images after we are finished and only pay for them while they are running. Here we see that we've launched three test instances on GoGrid. And now we can watch our load test running. We can perform iterative testing until satisfied with the Azure application. As fixes are made locally to the application, all changes could be stored into a local Team Foundation server instance. To publish a new build of the application, it could be published to the cloud directly from the local TFS repository as part of an automated process. And after we're done testing, we can leave the published version of the application on Azure and bring it into production. Now we are live on Azure. While in production, the GoGrid service is used as a backup or a cold standby site. We, we use SQL Sync to regularly copy the application data from SQL Azure to a local SQL Server instance on GoGrid. If the Azure application grows to larger than 10 gigabytes of data, then you can move the application to GoGrid and use a dedicated SQL Server running on a GoGrid virtual or hybrid dedicated machine. Thanks for spending time with me today. We showed how a developer can use the GoGrid for Windows Azure application lifecycle management service to seamlessly build and deploy applications for Windows Azure, rapidly provision unlimited test servers for powerful load testing with a cost-effective pay-as-you-go pricing model, and use sync services for Microsoft SQL Azure to keep a real-time backup of their Windows Azure database while using the GoGrid infrastructure as additional backup for disaster recovery.